super late upload, the files got corrupted and I had to edit this video from scratch price. Also sorry for not uploading regularly and for replying to your comments and messages late. College life sucks all of my time, please understand. Now let's move on to the video. December 18 and today we're going to the National Museum of History. Uh, National Museum of Natural History which is like the new museum where you can see the the birds nesting sa sa taas parang parang so ang ganda ang ganda ng architecture daw. So, yung mga kasama kaming mga tourists. Kami din naman tourists din naman kami. Pero like, dito kami pinangalang. Tourists sa sariling bayan. Yes! So, yun. Papunta na kami sa entrance. And, which is, hindi ako sigurado kung yun ba yun. Yeah, hindi namin alam ko na saan yung entrance. Oh! This one? Putik, putik. Ayun, nandun yung... Oh, ang ganda dito! Ayun. So, nandito na kami sa may opening and yes, ito na. So cool! Okay. As elegant as the exterior of the museum is its interior. It looked like we were in a palace of another country. As soon as we entered, we were greeted with a bag scanner and a queue of people lining up to register their names. Note that backpacks and bags bigger than a piece of short bond paper were not allowed inside and should be left at the baggage counter. And ito na kami sa loob! So, pinaiwan sa amin yung backpacks namin. Mas lalo yung mga bag na malalaki kaysa sa short bond. So, always remember na huwag magdala ng malaking bag. Tulad nitong girl lalo na to. <laughs> So, ayan no. May, may tao dyan. <laughs> Ta-da! Looks like a dog. It was the world's, as well as the Philippines, largest saltwater crocodile in captivity with a length of 6.17 meters from snout to tail. This part of the museum shows different botanical artworks by Filipino naturalists and taxidermied animals. It also has an interactive workstation where you could trace the shapes and curves of leaves and plants.
ngayon nasa second room pa lang kami and we took a lot of time. Kasi tingnan nyo naman, it looks so real. Ayan, this is an ostrich. Ayan, ostrich. Joke lang. It's a train. Oh, great. Pero akala ko din ostrich. So, going to the next room. Moving to the main, ano. At this moment a woman wearing a red shirt approached me. I didn't notice her coming so when she caught my attention I gave her the WhatsApp look. She asked me if I was taking a video. I blatantly said yes. She widened her eyes and said no videos. So I was like okay I'm so sorry and immediately deleted the video I took. So if you'll didn't see me again I'm probably already serving jail time. Last floor. Ah, <gasps> fudge! To answer that question, yes. The fifth floor houses the rainforest exhibit that is full of amazing taxidermied animals and Lolong's replica. Moving to the fourth floor, one is immediately greeted by this interactive screen where you could leave a lava handprint. This floor demonstrates everything related to geology, such as the Earth's layers, geologic activities, and different types of rocks that could be found on Earth. The third floor houses the marine exhibit, where different sea animals are displayed. This is my favorite part of the museum. from National Museum. Yung mga nakita namin si Lolong and a bunch of rocks. Meron doon mga interactive stuff. Kapag pumunta kami doon sa part ng mga earthquakes, meron doon parang interactive na screen or something. Tapos parang pipiliin mo yung intensity ko intensity 8, intensity 7. Nakikita mo doon kung ano mangyayari sa neighborhood or community kapag nangyari yung earthquake. Sa marine part, yung favorite part ko doon sa museum kasi parang interactive siya. Also, maganda yung part na yun. Tapos meron parang nilalakaran mo before ka makapasok doon sa marine part. Green siya na nasa floor. Tapos kapag a aapakan mo, mag-ripple siya. Okay lang. Pagod na rin si Juliana kasi nun, so medyo bininis na lang namin. Pero maganda pa rin, enjoyable. Tsaka meron doon yung mahahawakan mo talaga yung rock. Ay, yung tough, yung pumis. Enjoyable siya kapag marami kang time. And kapag wala kang ginagawa sa bahay, punta ka na lang sa National Museum para may matutunan ka rin, ba? Pero... Uh, for me, mas gusto ko kasi yung mga paintings, appreciating art and stuff. So like, medyo nag-enjoy ako, pero maganda yun, maganda doon. Maganda yung Tree of Life, yung pinupuntahan talaga ng mga tourists kasi super ganda, super sulit. Tip ko sa inyo, maaga kayo pumunta kasi kapag maaga, tapos weekday, konti lang yung tao. Nung pumunta kami, wala masyadong tao. Tapos parang, parang kami lang. And do not bring big bags. Like, bags na mas malaki sa short bun. Backpacks. Bawal mga backpacks. Kasi pinapaiwan sa baggage counter. And mahahassle ka kung hawakan mo yung cellphone mo, yung wallet mo, and stuff. Basta, kapag pupunta ka sa National Museum, sling bag lang. Plus, feeling ko bawal mag-video. Pero, um, nagawa ko na and tinuloy ko pa rin. 
Yes. If ever hindi niyo na ako nakita, kinulong na ako. Kapjang. By the way, uh, entrance fee zero. Like pagpasok mo kasi doon, tinatanong ka na agad anong school mo, ilan kayo. And yun lang. Nakita kami kakilala namin dito. And expect ko naman kasi summer nga. Ay, summer? December. December, December break. Or winter break. Pero wala kami winter. Yun lang. CR na to. Short. May video to. Cool, yan na lang. Too short. The video na too short. Sa National Museum of Natural History. Sana kayo. There are crates in the Philippines. This is ostrich. Bye. See you in the next vid. Thank you for watching.